everyone. Welcome back to QSR Nation, your weekly source of food service marketing and business strategies for success. Here are your hosts, Josh, Beth, Tony, and Grant from the PFS Brands National Headquarters in Holt Summit, Missouri. Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of QSR Nation. As always, we have Josh, Tony, and Grant here from the PFS Brands National Headquarters in Holt, Southern Missouri to talk about food service marketing and business strategies for success. You notice that was a little different. Grant is bringing some creative juices to the, the team today. Um, Change it up a little bit. I'm not, sure if I, I'm, gone. Not, I'm not sure if I like it, actually. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that felt forced. <laughs> maybe, this, maybe the second time will sound better. More natural. Yeah, but Beth is gone today, so... Uh, we're gonna have some fun, actually. So uh, <laughs> you're very I articulate hope. there. I, I appreciate I that. Most of the time I talk so fast, they have no idea what I'm saying. Yeah, I just hope that she enjoys that we've publicly said that we don't miss her. Yeah, well, I miss her, but I guess. Really? Well, yeah. Anyways, okay, moving uh, on. <laughs> <laughs> so today on the episode, we kind of want to discuss uh, daily specials and why they're important. Um, Tony was. Going on a long tangent before we <laughs> went live, so I said, let's just roll with that. So, Tony, honestly, why are daily specials important when it comes to, like, you know, driving inventory you need to get rid of, boomerang sales, things like that? Well, I mean, it, first of all, it's creating an opportunity to, like you said, move inventory, and, and maybe um, it's things you might be a little heavier on, so you're putting it at a discounted price to package it up to get it, you know, into the customer's view. Um, that does a couple of things. One, hopefully it stimulates sales on that product. But two, it also can expose people to products that they maybe weren't ordering on a normal basis. So they get to see that and realize it's something that they like, and they might order that at a normal time at a regular price later on down the road. Um, but the biggest thing to me why daily specials are really important still is that boomerang business. It's that getting people to come back in. They know they can only get, um, for instance, we're going to launch a taco salad at um, one of our restaurants here that we have. And uh, we're going to only have it available on Thursdays. Uh, we did that with the fish tacos only on Friday through Lent, and we've just been a you know, continued ask for us to bring it back. So we we're going to do that, but instead of just making it a daily menu item, we're going to put it on a special, keep it fresh, keep it unique, and hopefully bring that customer in on that day for that specific business. Yeah, that's a good point. And uh, I know I'm a sucker for daily specials because I'll come in somewhere on a Tuesday and I'll look, you know, ahead throughout the week and see what other specials they have. And I'll see a really good deal on Thursday, you know, and I, and I think in the back of my mind, like, I got to get that deal, you know, that seems like a really good deal. So it creates that reason why, like Josh called it, boomerang business it creates that reason to bring customers back in. So yeah, Tony, I stole that from Tony actually before we started. So. <laughs> no, but it's true. If you, especially if you get really aggressive, some of these price points, you can um, drive some great inventory and plus get new customers that even by word of mouth. So yeah, and also is here's a great thing: that new customer aspect. There's sometimes that mentality of okay, I'm going to trade my hard-earned cash for this, and I don't know if I'm going to like this. I've never tried this before, so you know, sampling is always a great way to get people in the door to you know to try that, or once they're in the door, at least to try different things. But having that daily special, it gives that uh, opportunity to really lower that wall and say, "Hey, I'm not going. I'm only going to be out six bucks or five bucks. If I don't like it, it's not like it's a big deal. But it gives that opportunity to try, change things up a little bit, make it fun, and of course, get your staff excited about it too. Because at the end of the day, they're they're the ones really are selling the product and are really selling the experience. Yeah, people always want to feel like. They, they've got a, they got a good deal so yeah for sure and, and it doesn't necessarily have to be something off the wall either and it could be like something on that specific day every single week to create that routine I don't know it's not really daily special but uh, Tony and I used to go to uh, was it Long John Silver's with Carl yes every Wednesday because they had the senior special so he'd always want to go there and we'd always get stuck going with him because we wanted to bro out with him <laughs> and, you know I mean it's just go you can get people if they find what they like if it's a deal like that or if it's a certain food item that you only serve on that specific day they'll keep coming back for more if they actually like it if you, yeah if you can start building habits then you're really in business <laughs> well yeah and like Josh mentioned we called it, it was the, the mandated mandate oh, yeah. or whatever yeah. and, that's uh, nice yeah <laughs> <laughs> we, won't, we won't go much deeper yeah <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of wisdom shared with us yeah. youngins. Um, and I'm, yeah, I'm going to say I'm a young, and I'm not, though. But <laughs> he was older than me, so yeah. I'm going to call yeah. it. You're using young with liberty there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it, it's, again, it, it developed a habit, like you said, Grant. I mean, it was something that, that we put on our calendar, we scheduled out, and we did it. 
and we wouldn't have been going to that restaurant if it wasn't for that Wednesday right. special yeah. because that's where Carl wanted to go. Um, and it was, a, it was a great thing, though, to turn into a habit. And, you know, he may have gotten the senior discount, but we didn't. We didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so that daily special, you know, it may appeal to one of the group, uh, true, but everybody yeah. else that's with them may not necessarily just order the specials. So it's something that's just really great to be able to offer that so someone else will say, hey, this is a deal, at least for me, and talk their buddies into going and paying full price like Josh and I would do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, definitely daily specials can really drive some traffic to you. I want to bring up something that I saw the other day. I think you posted it, Tony, about the uh, six spicy nugs that oh, Wendy's yeah. got right now. Yeah, first of all, thank you, Wendy's. Um, Shout so out. Shout yeah, out. so like my kids and I, we, we love the spicy chicken nuggets from Wendy's. I, I think that's like the best chicken nugget out there. Hmm, I'll and have to try. Uh, yeah, that's they're great. I never tried them either. So I guess they discontinued them because of lack of sales. Well, then there was like this crazy uproar in social media about bringing back the spicy chicken nuggets. And so this is kind of like there's they're, they're beyond daily special here. Uh, they tweeted out that if they got two million likes that in like a, what was like a month yeah. or something like that uh, or a week that they would bring them back and it was like less than 48 hours and they were hammered and yeah. so they're actually doing a deal with DoorDash as their special that you have to order through DoorDash but they're saying 2 million likes um, gets 2 million nugs because they call them their, their spicy nugs and um so that's what doing. If you order through DoorDash, good plug for you, Wendy's. You don't have to pay for this. Um, <laughs> but you, know, you get uh, like a free however many uh, piece n- uh, spicy nugget from Wendy's to do it. So, I mean, that is going to get me back in their drive yeah. through and Or through DoorDash. Yeah. or And, and I'm actually considering it. I've yeah. never even ordered through DoorDash before. And I'm considering downloading the app and going to do it just because of that. Because yeah. my kids were like, Dad, we got to go back to Wendy's now. And so I, we're going to wind up being back there. So and it's going to be that... That unique item that they're going to have there as their, their, their special little piece, and hopefully it stays. Mm-hmm. Don't yeah. screw up Wendy's. It took two million likes to get them back, <laughs> <laughs> but you know that's again the, the power of it. So if you have something that's you know great and unique, be sure that you're marketing it through social media, especially. Yeah, for all of our uh, six listeners out there, go <laughs> ahead and grab that deal because that is a great deal. <laughs> what a, like you just dip the spicy nuggets in just like ranch and stuff as well? Is it the uh, same see, thing? I don't like ranch. I, it, uh, I yeah, sorry. I just I'm not a ranch guy. Um, but they do have like a honey mustard that oh, is that really would be awesome. Good, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It is really and good. And top it off with a nice frosty. That sounds mm-hmm. good. Oh, oh, great. Now we're gonna go to Wendy's. Fifty cent yeah. frosty. Well, we should wrap this one up and head to Wendy's. <laughs> yeah. All right, anything else you guys want to add about um, daily specials, anything in the news or anything else? You know, I'm, I'm scared to talk about anything in the news. Yeah, <laughs> and, well, I mean, outside like food, of Wendy's. Service, food service news. <laughs> the weather's not fun either. It's yeah. dog days of summer. It's all hot and humid. It's not fun. It's true. But those Frosties are cold. Yeah. Oh, and those spicy nuggets are waiting. All so right, we should we'll go see get you some. guys later. <laughs> <laughs> no, I definitely, uh, without Beth here, we kind of. It's I'm okay. Over she here, won't listen. I'm over here in the corner all by myself. You know, usually she's Nobody sitting right here within <laughs> within three inches of me. I can just elbow her whenever I need. Well, if you guys have any ideas for us or have any questions for us, reach out to us at QSRNation at PFSBrands.com. And please subscribe to the podcast on iTunes or PFSBrands.com slash podcast. Follow us on social media. That's usually the best plug that she says. Um, and then Grant also has a new closing for me. He's uh, taking over the show, the new guy. Um, <laughs> All right. Ready for it? I'm ready. All right. From your team here at PFS. Oh, what's wrong? You, you, you misspelled here. From your <laughs> team here at QSR Nation, we'll talk to you next week. You really did it. Yeah, I did it. That's the wrong here, man. It was, <laughs> it was actually a pun because. We, you know, we, we, we should pun. actually post a picture of it. Today's episode is brought to you by Kid Dell, your premier kitchen and deli experts. Visit them at kiddell.com. Be sure to stop by next week for another episode of QSR Nation. And be sure to check us out online at pfsbrands.com forward slash podcast. Podcast.